Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Blunder Code Quest is coming to an end. Code Quest is where they got all the developers together, and they've basically been able to make very quick changes on the fly. And you've, if you've been watching this channel for the last little bit, you've seen a lot of improvements to Blunder 2.8. I suppose improvements is up to the beholder, but they've definitely made a lot of changes to Blunder 2.8. And coming into the final week, they've made a change that I really, really like, and that's the Quick Favorites menu. And on top of that, they've made a couple of other changes I'll highlight when we get in there. But Quick Favorites could be a bit of a game changer for how your workflow works. Now, as with all the other videos I've done along this lines, this is using the nightly builds available at builder.blender.org. I will toss that link down below. Uh, just if you're going to follow along to this one, make sure you are grabbing something from June 26th or later. Now, also keep in mind that Blender is changing rapidly, so there is a pretty good chance that by the time you see this, the functionality I am demoing has probably already been tweaked or changed slightly. So if what you see on your screen doesn't completely match what I'm seeing, well, that's the cost of progress, basically. Um, and another thing to be aware of, right now, this build, at least on Windows, will not run on an Intel GPU. Uh, so Optimus kicked in my Intel 620. Uh, the renderer, well, it'll run, but the renderer, the, the shading just doesn't work. So uh, if you are running an Optimus laptop, do make sure that your dedicated GPU is what is being picked up. All right, so now we're on to the new functionality here. The first one is kind of cool. So if you look down here, see right here, here, here and here. Well, basically you've got a new um, overview of what the mouse buttons and such do. So you see the left mouse button currently sets the 3D cursor, rotate view is the middle mouse button, right mouse button is activate, and then move is translate. So some pretty cool stuff down there for if you're just learning. I don't know if this can be turned off. I assume it can. Um, but it's now just kind of giving you a bit of a heads up of what the current status of the mouse is. And as it changes, the detail down there changes. Another thing that's changed, at least in the default, so this is now transparent. Uh, I believe that's completely configurable and it's not really a big deal, but the big deal is this new uh, quick favorites menu. And this is really cool. Basically anything that has a menu item or a button, you can now add it as a favorite. So for example, if you find yourself in here and you're switching views all the time, and let's pretend that this didn't exist yet. So you want your different views that you're gonna use all the time in your menu. You just kind of can come up here, uh, go to um, viewport right here and say, I want to have the top view as a favorite. I just right click this guy and add to my menus, favorites menu. Or say if I want the right hand side, same thing, right click, add the favorites menu. So now those are available to me. Same thing I've got down here. I've got all these various different options available. For example, say I'm going to do scaling a lot and let's pretend there wasn't a key for scaling already. I can right click that guy and add it to the favorites menu. So basically anything that has a menu item can now be bound to the favorites menu. Speaking of the favorites menu, well, how do you use it? You hit Q. And you will see everything that we have bound will now be shown in that menu. So anywhere you are, Q, there is your menu. And so this is really useful for stuff like um, frame selected. Frame selected has always been a bit of a trick because if you don't have a number pad uh, variable, like there's no period for you to do, that one's hard to get to. So you can click that one, add to your favorites. The same thing with your um, some of these view alignments have like shift number pad one, uh, etc., or control alt number pad zero. Well, if you're doing this all the time, click add to your favorites. And then you'll see here, boom, we're in. And then we can switch out to different cameras, etc. So uh, some of the pivot, hotkey pivots, or like Control Alt Shift period, or Control Alt Shift zero, that stuff can all just be bound to your favorites. Anything that you do basically frequently, throw it in this menu. Now the cool thing here is this menu is contextual. So right now, see we're in object mode. I'm going to switch over here to edit mode, and hitting Q. Oh. It's empty. So now I can pick any of the items out here. So I can pick something that's dropped down. So bisect, for example, and we'll add that to my favorites. Now I click Q, there is bisect. And at the same time, anything from these menus. So let's say I want to do, um, I don't know, edge loops. I just right click, add to my favorites menu. And pretty much, you know, that works in every mode. So here we go. I hit Q. Oh, sorry, I switched modes. So here I am, I hit Q, I've got the two that I just added. I switch back to object mode, I hit Q, I've got all the ones I defined there. And that works in every single thing. So if I switch over here to uh, weight painting and I hit Q, nothing bound. So you can create a set of quick menus for each context or each action you're currently up to. And I can see this being a huge time saver for workflow. Uh, I'm definitely excited that this was added because basically you just throw in the things that are um, most relevant to you too. Now the cool thing also, let me switch on back to edit mode. So you see here I have, um, I'll throw say 
uh, smooth in here. So I'll click that guy and add it to my favorites. And now you'll see that it is the third item in the menu. So as always with any menu, I can do control, um, I could hit Q and then three, and then we immediately run that command. And we're also switched into toggle mode. So now it will work on each particular time you run it. So that's true of any of them. So if I switch back here to object mode and I hit Q, you'll notice that one, two, three, four, five. So Q and five is the top uh, top down camera. So Q plus five, we switch to top down camera. So if you're a keyboard warrior, you're basically defining Q1 through nine or Q1 through zero on your keyboard to be whatever the heck you want in that menu. So you can really um, tweak Blender to your workflow. This is definitely something. I'm glad that they added it. Now, the problem is I think there was a few plugins. There was a hard surface plugin, I think, that used the Q key. So you're going to have to you know, work that into your workflow. But I've got to match, once again, you can probably customize the keys however you need it to be. So you could switch it off cue to wherever you want it to go. Now there's one other change I discovered, and I'm not actually sure if this is new or not, or I just never noticed it before. Uh, and I actually personally would hate this functionality, but I'm glad that the option is there for other people. Come here to user preferences now. There is this toggle here. And again, this may not be completely new, if, in which case I apologize. Let me know down below if this is an existing feature, but we've got open on mouse over. So what you can actually do is enable that. And then you have it whenever you hover over a menu, it will automatically pop open. Don't think I would ever use that because I, I actually walk around screen with my mouse cursor. So that can definitely get frustrating, but you can see you can pop over. I'm not, the big difference is here. If I turn that off and I hover over marker, it does nothing. I have to literally click to get that menu in. Now, the cool thing that you saw is in order to do it, it stole focus. So if I have this guy on and then hover over, it will pop it open, but it's not stealing focus. So you're seeing my user preferences are still in the foreground. Again, I'm not 100% sure if that is a completely new feature or not, uh, but I am happy to see it there. It's it, If it's new, I guess it does add a layer of customizability that wasn't there before. And when something is a straight on off toggle, it doesn't impact anyone. It's either new functionality people will like or people can just leave it off. But again, that one may not be 100% new, but these, these quick menus definitely are and they're really cool. Um, now you can remove from them using the right click. And I guess that's pretty much it for the new quick menu functionality. I think quick favorites is really cool. I think this is going to change the way my workflow goes. It gives me the ability to really customize how things work without actually having to really do much. I'm really just configuring a menu, but it's the stuff that you touch all the time. And it's right up here between the tab key, which you're going to be using constantly and the W key, which is already a pretty important key. So, um, yeah, it's it's a cool use of the key. It's cool new functionality. And I honestly, I don't see any downsides to this one. I don't think this is controversial at all. I think this is 100% better for everybody. But I am probably missing some use cases. So if you can see a single reason why uh, quick favorites is a bad thing, do let me know in the comments down below. But again, I think this one's cool. And I hope you guys do as well. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.